what's up y'all i know it's been a minute but i'm back with another video and today i want to talk about why fathers are necessary and they are not by any means optional because i feel like the times that we live in now people really make it seem like fathers are optional like they're not necessary to be in the home and that is just absolutely not true so first I want to say welcome back to all of my already subscribed peeps, but if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, like this video, check out my other videos, and comment below if you have any thoughts after watching this video. So let's get into it. I, I come with this perspective from personal experience. So anybody who's kind of been following my story or knows anything about me knows that I went, I went from being a single mom, a struggling single mom, to now being a wife. Yes, I'm officially a wife. <laughs> not just a fiance, not a wife to be, I'm a wife. We are legally married and I will probably create another video another time just talking about our courthouse wedding, why we decided to do that and just how that whole process went. Um, but yes, I am married. So went from being a single mom to married to being with an amazing man who is truly just, he's just everything. <laughs> he's a great provider, protector, and just man of the house. And not only is he an amazing husband, but he's an amazing father to my daughter. And we are also expecting a baby boy. Kind of see. Boop, boop, boop. He's due in about a month. So yeah and going from being a single mom to now having a husband and a father for my child i just not only see the difference and feel the difference within myself but i see and feel it in my daughter as well and it's made it even more obvious to me why fathers are necessary i really hate that we live in this culture that kind of almost glorifies like single mom or baby mama baby daddy culture and not even necessarily glorifies it but normalizes it like it's not an issue like it's not a thing and that's really where i have an issue and i i think a lot of it stems from feminism because a lot of what feminism promotes it devalues the nuclear family it emasculates men and kind of makes men seem like they're obsolete and toxic and masculinity is this horrible thing that we should never engage in and it makes women have to step into this masculine role and that just creates single families bitter moms and all of these different things that just aren't productive to society like stronger families equal stronger communities equal stronger societies the reason our society is falling to shit is because we don't have strong families and we don't value these traditional things that have always worked from the dawn of time and we're not valuing the nuclear family two women cannot replace that of a mother and a father another woman cannot replace a man and another man cannot replace a woman. So two men cannot create the same environment that a man and a woman can create for a child. And two women can't do the same thing. So a lot of times I'll see, primarily I'll see a lot of times like single moms coming together and raising their kids together and being like, this is our community. We have sisterhood, blah, blah, blah. Like that's cute and all, but in the long, like in the long run, that is not beneficial to you or your children because now you're making your child feel like men, you're literally subconsciously implanting in their head that men are just not necessary which is just a lie because it takes a man and a woman to create a child therefore it takes a man and a woman to raise a child but on top of that it's like women and men are different we're biologically different we're socially different we're just different and that's okay we have different strengths and we have different weaknesses the reason why marriage is considered between a man and a woman and why you even need a mother and a father to raise a child is because there's different qualities that you require from the mom and from the dad to go into raising your child to make them a well-balanced amazing person so that's why 
traditionally we've had men play their roles as men and we've had women play their roles as women and this has worked for us in society to be able to raise our children because when a woman has to deal with like playing the role of man and woman it's just chaotic and stressful because our role is really to be the nurturer to be able to take care of our kids without stress of how are we going to get money how are we going to pay the bills how are we how am i going to like sustain a home like find a, a, a place to keep us protected that is a man's job a man is supposed to be able to go out to work bring back money be able to provide you with food be able to provide you with um a house that you can make a home and men are also just designed to take on more stress than women are they're able to just take it on the stress of the outside world keep his wife and his children protected from it do what he has to do and keep it pushing but we have we live in a world right now where everyone's trying to push that women and men are the same women and men are equal and it's not that we're not because like if I say like oh I don't think men and women are equal it's not that I don't think that I don't think one is better than the other I don't think men are greater than women I don't think women are greater than men I think that we each have our own value that we bring to the table and we complement one another really well but that doesn't mean that we're equals like a woman and a man are not physically equal because we're bio biologically built different we're biologically wired different and we live in this world like i was saying that just wants to make everything gender neutral there's no difference between man and woman even though there always has been since the beginning of time even though our dna makeup is completely different even though physically we are completely different from our organs to our bones to our tissue to our skin everything is different but yet we're trying to live in this world where everyone is just ignoring these basic truths and basic facts and it's not benefiting anyone on top of that feminism i'm gonna bring it back to the feminism because i feel like this is really the root cause of why we're where we're at where we are in society feminism promotes this sexual liberation culture which i kind of already did a video about and this idea that we can just have sex anytime whenever with whoever without consequence is also what's contributing to more single family homes baby mom and baby daddy culture there's less value and sacredness when it comes to sex people have sex without understanding that the whole goal and purpose of sex is to procreate and have babies and you're creating babies without marriages so naturally these children are not being raised in two family households and you know that's not always the case some people have been together they don't get married they have the kid they get married they stay together and things like that there's all always exceptions to the rules but predominantly i'm gonna push that it is very important to value marriage so that you can have children safely if you are someone that wants to have kids you should be valuing marriage period because otherwise like why would you want to just raise your kids by yourself why would that even be a goal like i hear of women that literally are just like well i i'm if i don't have a kid by a certain time or get married by a certain time i'll just be a single mom it's okay and it's like no sis don't have kids <laughs> like that's your problem um i don't understand why you would do that statistically and literally you can easily just search this up statistically children with fathers in the home with present fathers in the home they are less likely to be in living in poverty they are less likely to engage in crime they are less likely to develop psychological or mental issues they are less likely to uh do poorly in school they are less likely to just be unsuccessful all of the statistics point to when a father is in the home and present in a child's life they end up faring better just in life in general so why do we ignore these facts 
and try to, again, try to act like it's an optional thing. Like they don't need to be present in these children's lives. And I wanna even just talk about my own personal experience for a second, because when I was with my daughter's father, he is a very feminine man. He has no concept of his role as a man, which is why we didn't work out, which is why um, we're not together, which is why he has no desire to really be in his child's life. Um, but when I was with him, I was living so chaotically, which is really how feminine energy operates. It's very chaotic. It has no structure, no uh, sense of like boundaries, no sense of just like routine, things like that. So feminine energy, like I saw a video the other day that described masculine energy as like a frame that holds you. And it's very true. That's exactly what masculine energy does. It takes feminine energy and it holds it in like a container to be able to contain how chaotic it can be and provides it with structure, with purpose, with direction so that it can be productive instead of just being chaotic and doing whatever and being all over the place all the time and not having any structure or purpose and just being destructive. Um, so yeah, like with my own life when I was with my daughter's father who <laughs> is like just the epitome of like just the epitome of the new age spiritual men that just say F the government F structure F logic all that stuff and just try to live these like chaotic free lives without any direction because they're stuck in this feminine space within themselves and they refuse to like push past and really be the men that they're supposed to be. And that's another video for another day that I've been meaning to get to is like women, especially if you're someone that's just involved in like different in more like modern or new age spirituality type things, like being very, very mindful and weary of the men that you attract, especially in those spaces, because a lot of them are really just like men acting like women to be honest because men have a role and men have a purpose and when they don't fulfill it it's almost like they're useless and they're just detriment a detriment to society and communities um so when I was with my child's father like I said I was acting in a very chaotic space in my life like I had no direction I had no like plans no idea what I was doing just spending money friv frivolously, doing things without caring about the consequences, without thinking about the long term, not doing things logically, acting out emotionally. And I ended up like, at the time I had like an apartment, a car, I lost my apartment, I lost my car, my credit score was shit. Like everything in my life was literally deteriorating because I wasn't with somebody that provided the frame we were just being chaotic together. He did nothing like in terms of providing for me and everything. And I was at the same time acting as the man because I was the one that was working while I was pregnant. I was the one providing the money, doing all these things. And it became like, I started to develop resentment towards him, like deep anger and bitterness. And then even when we broke up, you know, we've, we kind of like officially broke up around the time my daughter was like, four months and after that when I was just like really being a single mom that's when I started to really see how necessary it was to have a man a true ma man masculine man in your life because I just felt this like void in myself I felt this void in my daughter's life because I grew up having my dad present and in the home and I knew how much he meant to me growing up. So it didn't make sense that like we can just do this alone and be all right. Like, no, I quickly realized that that was a fallacy and that what I wanted for myself and my child was a man that could be that true divine masculine role, husband and father for me and my daughter. Um, 
And I realized too, like at the time when I was just like a single mom, I was so bitter and so angry all the time. And I was really taking out a lot of that anger and bitterness on my child. And I noticed a lot of single moms are like that. They have a lot of anger, they have a lot of bitterness. They take it out on their children. They don't take it out on anyone else. It's really their children. And it's because they don't have that provision and that protection, that covering from the man that kind of shields them from some of the stress of the world. They have to face it all on their own and then come back and are supposed to be these loving, nurturing moms. But how can you do that when you just had to go out and face all the stresses of the world that you shouldn't even be doing in the first place? Now that I have a husband and a father for my child, we live in a beautiful home. I see and feel such a difference in myself and in my daughter. Like, I'm not living my life chaotically. I'm, because I have him as like a frame to hold me, it keeps me on track just with my life and things that I need to be doing. Um, it gives me purpose. Like, I love being able to like, just make sure he's taken care of our babies are taken care of, our home is taken care of, like I can just dress pretty <laughs> and just feel good about myself. Like I really do love this simple, beautiful feminine life. Um, and I'm seeing the difference in not only myself and how like just happier I am and just like, I don't feel stressed anymore. I don't even think about like, oh, where are we gonna get the money for the bills? Da, da, da. Like that's not, on my mind like <laughs> my husband does all that he pays the bills he has the money like he gives me money once a week when he gets paid and I just worry about what I be spending on and if anything I just keep us on track like I have like a little budget thing that I have or like our bills for the month and he looks at it to make sure he knows like what week we have to pay what stuff and you know I'm not like before I used to be stressing stressing hard like oh my god how am I gonna do this and it's like all I worry about now is taking care of my daughter taking care of my pregnancy making sure there's food in the house and keeping the house clean and things like that like it's really <laughs> we chilling over here um but yeah on top of that I see like the difference in my daughter like my daughter was so, and she still is, but I see the difference that like a father makes for a daughter is like, it keeps even her just more disciplined and in check. Like she listens better. She's just like calmer, her emotions, like she's happier. There's so many things that just benefit her. Like she would lash out and have like tantrums and all types of stuff all the time prior to me having my husband and even outside of that it's like I know she's just like you know a toddler and stuff because she has tantrums every now and then too but it was different it was really different like I could tell it's like she felt this void too like she wanted a dad because children they'll feel things they're very intuitive even if they don't fully know what it is that they're feeling but I genuinely see a difference in her she's like amazing and she loves her dad like that is her her stepdad is her dad that's her dad she loves that man more than anything like she'd be so hyped when he come home comes home from work so hyped to play with him so hyped to do whatever with him and she don't even want nothing to do with me once that man comes home from work so i say all this to say that fathers are necessary they're not optional it makes me really sad when I see like other single moms, especially acting like, like I've seen single moms state things like, my children don't need a father because I am, I can play the father and the, and the mom. Like I have masculine and feminine energy. Like, no, you don't. You're a woman with a womb and you will never ever in your entire life be able to replace that of a father and you're doing yourself and your child a disservice by acting like you can fulfill the roles of two people you as one woman can fulfill the roles as a man and a woman it's just not true and you're lying to yourself so 
yeah I really do feel like the experiences that I've had in my life were purposeful because I'm meant to help other people just see beyond these things like I've gone through a lot of pain and tragedy and trauma in my life especially surrounding being a single mom those were some of the hardest darkest days in my entire life but I'm not in that place anymore and I know how dark and lonely that place is and I don't want other women I especially don't want other women to even end up in that space which is why I try to preach this stuff and let them know like learn from my mistakes marry before you carry <laughs> value marriage like value men but if you are a single mom and you are in this space there is time to heal there is time to be like there is time for redemption there, it is possible for you, your story to still have a happy ending but you have to be willing to look within yourself and be honest and, and hold yourself accountable and responsible for the decisions that you've made in the past understand that your mindset has been warped by our society because this is not just something like if you were involved in feminism, you just took this on. This stuff is everywhere. It perpetrate, it like permeates every single facet of our society at this point in time, where they're pushing this stuff heavy on everyone to believe that women can do it all. Women are superheroes. We're we don't need men. We can do whatever men can do and more. Like it's insane, and it's not healthy, and it makes no one happy. I don't know one single like single woman who's really happy they be lying and they be on like oh I got my money and I'm like the rich auntie I don't need a man I don't need kids all right sis I'm gonna see you in 20 years and see how you feeling when you old the money the money's not keeping you warm at night who's gonna take care of you when you get old you don't have kids you don't have grandkids you don't have nothing but what your Louis bags your your mansion okay okay sis but life is not material life is way beyond materials it's way beyond the physical what do you have beyond that and most of the people that i know that are like single women without um husbands and or kids or anything they want those things they're jealous of others that have those things but they cover that wound with their jobs and their careers and whatever else and it's sad I feel really sad because it's like you've been let a lie that being a career woman and having a career would fulfill you in the same way as having kids it will never ever fulfill you the same way and the weirdest thing now is people with the pets Oh, my dog is my baby. My cat is my baby. Now, I'm someone, I love my cat, and that is my baby. Like, don't get it twisted. But that will also not replace a, a kid. They're going to die. They don't even understand what you're saying. They're not even human. Like, <laughs> like, so, yeah. So, that's that on that, y'all. I just really wanted to speak on this because I just see a lot of stuff from people in my past that are always just, like, making posts about how men aren't necessary or fathers are optional and I just that's something that I just find is a personal thing for me because like I said my experience and I just feel like my purpose here is to really help others understand the importance of marriage of union of nuclear families of embracing our traditional gender roles and just doing things how we always have done like fathers are necessary fathers are not optional and men are so important and vital to our society we would have nothing our society would look nothing like it does if we did not have men we wouldn't have roads we wouldn't have buildings we wouldn't have wi-fi we wouldn't have electricity we wouldn't have all these things that you know and love so y'all need to stop it and that's that on that so like i said in the beginning of the video be sure to subscribe to the, my channel Check out my other videos, comment below what you think, and like this video, and yeah, peace out, y'all. <laughs>